She's a co-founder of an online liberal discussion group. She champions the rights for women to choose whether or not to wear the hijab. But as she's from Saudi Arabia, her efforts for liberating women landed her in jail back in 2014. Suad al-Shamari hasn't let this slow her down and is continuing to fight for women's rights and freedoms, as Sanam Shantier reports. This is the face of a prominent human rights defender in Saudi Arabia. On her book cover, in line with her country's laws, nothing but her eyes are peeking out from a veil. But this is a more realistic picture, a sure sign of defiance. Here, Suad al-Shamari's hair is flowing freely, now she's had to pay a price for her liberal views. I was always told that if I managed to exercise patience, I would go to heaven. OK, fine. In front of people, I'm strong, I'm a hero. But I wake up with my pillow wet from my tears. There can't be a God that accepts this pain and injustice, a God that says I'll be rewarded for this pain. So this is how my rebellious thinking started. At home, the twice-divorced mother of six lets her hair down. This is freedom. If you want to wear a tent, do the hijab like this or that. Or if you want to remove it completely and let your hair out, you should be free to do so. But this hasn't always been the case. Suad was jailed for three months in 2014 for insulting Islam. This after she co-founded an online group with Saudi blogger Raif Badawi, who's now serving a 10-year prison sentence. I didn't go through Raif's Badawi case until she was arrested. And it was so scary. I was like, really? 10 years? And mom set up the... Uh, the network with them. So it was numbing. While she's no longer behind bars, Suad's wings are still clipped. The 42-year-old is disowned by her own relatives and barred from traveling abroad. But she's used to taking on Saudi Arabia's legal system. Her travel started the day her daughter was taken from her, in a country where the father is automatically granted a child's custody. Today, she says it was worth the pain, as her movement has started to gain momentum. Society is now saying that liberals aren't disbelievers. They don't sow strife and don't cause rebellion. But whether you like it or not, you're fighting your own fight. Since her release, Swads had to sign a pledge to reduce her activism. But today, from a small corner, she continues to fight for women, one tweet at a time.